the making of the uh, squid creature that turned into a tentacle monster. Um, literally tentacle. Um, literal Cthulhu. Yeah, no, not literally Cthulhu, but li literally a tentacle. Um, That's because you trying to get it down to the house where it was made. Went to the house, found that it was just a normal family, and they were all infected with the squids. Killed them anyway. Uh, basically, no, you didn't kill anyone. Uh, Wanted to. You basically said, all right, let's figure out if there are anything to do with them. You found out that they weren't, or at least you figured that they weren't. Not directly, uh, anyway. And then you tracked uh, the van using time magic and uh, different other things. I think it was Prime, Time and Prime, tracking the van all time. the way back Prime to time. a warehouse, uh, which was now abandoned. You then went into the office and saw that the guy who you had identified at the house, who had talked to the family, was in fact actually doing some things involving the squid. Uh, he then looked at you, said something, and actually had a conversation with you, a very short one, but still a conversation, which then the a few men arrived and attacked with uh, pistols. They probably got their shit pushed in. They probably got their shit pushed in because they were fighting mages with pistols. And um, <laughs> you actually managed to get one of them to surrender. And I uh, ran over one. You ran over <laughs> two. Oh yeah, two. I ghost... I, I, no, I didn't. I, I messed up. Uh, and that is where we left off with you guys basically in the in the warehouse in, in a different warehouse rather you took him and, oh yeah because uh, they stuffed him in the trunk and then I drove mm -hmm. um, making sure to hit every pothole and now you are in a, another warehouse uh, actually you are on your way yeah, oh, no, no, we, we, we went to a torture place. Like that. We yeah, went to a torture place. I, I asked Google for the nearest place to torture someone. And you crit. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 you asked, you asked your assistants where, uh, what the, the, if they could set up a place to torture someone. Oh, they, they might have done they that. Did. I asked I asked Google. No, 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 you did. Your AI did it. Yeah. They're a compromise. I remember specifically you were asking your uh, retainer, your your assistants, because you have so many resources. You were like, "Hey, can you set up a torture place?" And they were like, "Yes, right on that, sir." Did I? Yes. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> you can literally look up the the last part of the the session. You like? I remember that specifically. Okay. I think it would have been funnier to ask Google. <laughs> would have been. But, uh, you wouldn't have gotten a good answer. I mean, Google can tell people which bridges are nearest to commit suicide off of, so why not tell us, you know... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, come on, none uh, of you have heard that? Well, no, yeah, I they're based on that. popular suicide locations, not most efficient place <laughs> after a certain point efficiency doesn't it kind of ceases to matter at a certain point yeah there, there was that whole thing of if you said to uh the iphone thing whatever siri or whatever um i, I want to kill myself the response that came back was the nearest bridge is 3.4 miles away or whatever and that was wow. <laughs> i thought that was brilliant. And then they <laughs> Then they had to patch that uh, with the, like, 
calling. It was supposed to link to the uh, thing, but they Fortune had gotten the results to to bridges, like contacts to bridges, the yeah. phone numbers to bridges. Basically, they had went in and said that was the suicide hotline. Yeah, which was very funny. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're uh, off to torture a guy. Yeah. So. In this uh, this car that they came up in, you don't even have your own car. You just have a car that they came up in. Um, you guys go to uh, where they call you and tell you to go. And you actually see a uh, an elderly looking man outside of an abandoned warehouse, which you come to. Uh, halfway across town from where you saw where you were before of course uh, with a very um, interesting looking goatee and mutton chops uh, with a top hat a cane and a tailor suit Taylor's oh my god suit. it's a pimp I don't know, he's an elderly Fucking looking man it. with a top no, hat no. and a uh, mutton shop. It's a pill. No when, well, I know one when I see one. Don't try to trick me. Words. No, only, only yours looks like that, not all of them. You know that, right? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, never mind. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to argue your point, like, okay, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, we head over. Uh -huh. Stop yep. the car really abruptly as we get there, so it shakes him in the trunk again. <clears throat> oh, right, I was shot. Oh, yeah, you're bleeding all over the car. I healed you. No, I healed you, remember? The time oh, right. Did you did rip the bullet out? Did you time magic the upholstery? No. Savage. Actually, it's not my car. I don't really care. I just like to give you a hard time. <laughs> Been spending too much time around my parents. Meaning, I've actually seen my parents in the last decade. Decade? How old are you? Like 17? <laughs> 20 odd. How old do you think a decade is? 10 years? It's not very long. What? If you're 17, it's more than half your life. It's subjective, really. No, it's relative. No, if, if you're <laughs> no. 17, it is objectively more than half your life. Yes. It's subjectively. Anyway. So that's what he looks like, uh, quite like that, um, except instead of a bowler hat, like he has in that picture, it's a top oh. hat. He even looks evil. No, he looks cheery. He's quite cheery, but he's got nice <laughs> red cheeks. Yeah, you know? he's cheery, like, he, oh, I do love torturing people. <laughs> yeah. he, looks, he actually spins his cane and says, um, everything is set up for you, sir. Um... Great, yeah. Is this what you guys You wanted? have no idea who this guy is. <laughs> I don't remember calling him either, so I mean, that that's how Harm's playing him. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea who I called. I, I, I told my phone to do something and these guys showed up. So I don't know. It's like Uber. Maybe, maybe you don't it's, question yeah. why the driver is there. Exactly. Or who yeah. the driver is. Exactly. You just tell the machine to do something and a person shows up to do it. I mean... Yeah. Makes sense. I mean, I've just been shot, and the bullet was. Did we just call the me. hostel service? <laughs> That's what we did. We just paid someone to so we could torture them. Yeah. And are we the ones who are doing the torturing here? I mean, I was just gonna I mean, be real. I was just gonna go into his mind. I, I mean, have we a can few do spells that. Spells for that. We'll do that too. I mean, we'll we'll mix it up. It was you guys that said you wanted to torture a guy. I mean. Hey, if, I'm if, just. If you want information, I nearly died. 
I saw the light at the end of the tunnel and everything. It was horrible. If you it's want... not the light. It's it's just the it's death. That's what you saw. You saw death. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing yeah. is, if you want information, there I can no get you God information. But you yeah. said you wanted torture. I'm, I'm confused right. now. Should we just bring the guy in there and we will figure it out when we actually have him strapped up to a Here. chair? But, but before we do that, let me just check one thing. Doc, I'm going to walk over to the trunk, mm-hmm. bang my hand on it very loudly to get it ringing really well, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to look at the guy and say, hey, do you want to tell us what you know, or should I just drive around a bit more? I'm, I'm figuring by now you all of the tent. potholes and everything else. He's got to be beat to hell. <laughs> <laughs> he is, he is uh, yeah, very... Uh, beaten up, uh, but he's actually been shot as well. I, I don't know if you guys remember that, but eh. he was shot at. Um, but uh, he just looks at you with contempt. Contempt, not content. <laughs> yeah, that would be crazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would like you to drive some more. <laughs> I uh, just aim a gun at him and tell him to. Get out, start walking. He gets out. As we're walking past the guy with the curly thing and the hat, like, well, I'm for the end of it, like holding out the Bible. <laughs> they take the first part. So, um, lots of people coming through here. We lead him inside. <laughs> yeah, I'm just small talking with the guy. So, um, I'm just curious. Are we? I'm still not quite sure. Do we want information or do we want to torture this guy? Um, information. Okay, then why did we set up a torture place? That's Should I remove you. the equipment, sir? Um, I'm not sure. I thought my friends wanted to torture the guy. I don't know why, but just give us half an hour. Jolly good, sir. And he leaves, throws his cane around again, and leaves. Um, just goes for a does walk. Does anyone else know See him walking down. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I, I mean, would I know? Would, on. He, would I know his name by the small talking? Like, but huh? I see. While I, see. I small small talk to the dude, is our names exchanged? Yes, his name is Reginald. Reginald. Nice meeting you. Reginald. Yes. Sir. Oh, new best friend. New best friend. <laughs> Reginald. <laughs> yeah, so, so, Sorry, <laughs> sir, for the Hegan. So, so has, has either of you guys ever met him before? Nope. I thought you, you knew him. No, I don't know him. No, but he called you. He called you, sir. Yeah, I'm... I mean, you're the rich guy. I don't <coughs> believe it. Lead on, sir. <laughs> yeah, sir. Go ahead, sir. Where should we go? I'm gonna wipe all of your bank accounts. I don't have any. Ha! I don't have one either. <laughs> I'm gonna build a dozen bank accounts in your name. And Thank give them you. all negative balances. Ugh. Oh. That's okay. I'm I'm technically dead in the system anyway, and I'm dead inside. So, well, that isn't that what God is for? So, what are we actually wanting to know about this guy? I mean, His operation. Yeah. Again, could we maybe move back to the part where you just said in the warehouse, "Hey, we gotta move," and then suddenly guys with guns show up. 
kills me, I come back to life, and now we had a guy in the trunk. Could we maybe... Why? What oh, boy, God's plan. Thing? Oh, all right then. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. Hang I on, hang on. Let me let, hang on. Let me check. Was this your idea? He says no. <laughs> and I would know, all right? <laughs> Actually, hang on, hang on. Yeah, apparently he, sa he tells me you're an asshole. It's not wrong. It, it took him yeah. to know that. You're on, on the hear, naughty you list. Hear the, uh, the, the You're big also guy. on the Santa list, you see. You hear the big, you know, the booming voice say, No one said that. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> they don't know what. Hi. So, back to extracting information from this guy. Yeah. Right, yeah, okay. So, uses. sit him down. I sit down and start getting my laptop home. Okay. If they're not what actually, if they're not just one, if they're not actually wanting to torture him, I'm just actually going to try to get the information. Oh, well, I, mean, I was just going to do that. Well, I mean, I, I'm thinking like I'm picturing like the room that we're in. Sorry, is it is it a big room, small room? room that you're in it's yeah, a huge it abandoned warehouse yeah. you walk in and you see a an electrical cha electric chair plugged in to one of the nearby outlets uh you see um a lot of, lots of valves and syringes and uh a hacksaw uh a chainsaw um Needles, pliers, uh, knives, um, an axe, hmm. just like a big fucking axe. Uh, Apparently, torture I know a lot about general. this stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's creepy. What uh, what are the Could syringes be. filled with? An unknown liquid. <laughs> Is like, they're not labeled. It is clear, yeah. I assume this is true serum, the, the, what is it called? Uh, sodium something, whatever? Phenethyl? Yeah, I grab that, and I say, this'll help. Good, good, maybe, should we do the good, good cup, bad cup? Or priest and old lunatic? <coughs> I'm booting up my laptop as they're having this conversation. Yeah. I pray for his soul, while you try to... Excited. I don't know. Yeah. That, oh, I like that. <laughs> I walk forward, yeah. and with the syringe in my hand, uh, is he sitting down? I mean, we are kind of put him in Yeah, the... he's oh, yeah. Down. Sit, sit down, strap him in, and just inject him right in the neck, and say, uh, I was in Iraq, Afghanistan, uh... I think I was in the Revolutionary War, too. I can't quite remember. Funny thing about time. When you get locked in a bubble in a repeating moment over and over and over again, you don't ever forget. You re-experience. But the previous experiences, they don't get wiped away. No. They stay in your body, ingrained forever. In that one tiny moment. And you're about to be tortured. So go ahead and think very, very clearly if you want to be stuck in one tiny moment for the rest of your existence, or if you want to just talk and live. Uh, roll me intimidate. Alrighty. Damn. <laughs> uh, charisma intimidate. Yeah. Like, okay. for the Keegan, actually had. Uh, uh, like, I, I am trustworthy. I have trustworthiness. Okay. Yeah. I, I am being very sincere that I will lock yeah. him in a forever moment. Yeah. I mean, Father Keegan, he, he thought that he would have to have had a like, back and forth with you, but he was he's like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, behind him, like, stepping away, like, no, you got this. It's fine. <laughs> uh, what about your trustworthiness? I'm being, like, I am a trustworthy person. This am I, can you tell I'm being sincere? Do I get... Okay, fair enough. 
Um, and you said intimidation, obviously. Yeah, uh, charisma intimidation. All right, using willpower. Uh, what's difficulty? Difficulty seven. Does the sodium? Does the drug lower it at all? Did you give it to him already? Yeah, I, I said I injected him in the neck before I started talking. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> it uh, usually takes I didn't bit. catch that. I, I, I heard it, but I didn't think it might have been triggered yet. Yeah, no. It, it, it hasn't triggered yet. Those take a little bit of time to start. Sorry, well, I got a bit of lag. What was that? It hasn't triggered yet. Okay. So do you go. So, so. Seven. Uh, three, three successes. successes. He's gonna roll something. Ooh, that was almost a crit. And meanwhile, I'm going to do some data magic. Could I, while this is also happening, uh, do a, a fail save? Like, if he dies, that his soul doesn't escape. You want to trap his soul? In case he dies. In case he I, dies. I'm not saying I'm not trusting Leo. I'm just saying that this not guy Leo. might die. I can reverse his death, I will remind you. Yeah, I'm just saying that we should maybe make sure that if okay. his soul yeah, tries yeah. to get escape, Fail, like, no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so, going to assume that you strapped him to the chair. Yes. yes. No, I said I did. Okay. Yeah. I strapped him so, down. So could I kind of, like, uh, never mind me, uh, kind of make a circle around them, like, in the meantime, like, some salt, light some candles, for the mood. Like, <laughs> start re reading a few p prayers, like, you're gonna need those. <laughs> oh, hey, I understand <laughs> Latin now, I can suddenly <laughs> understand what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> like, this dude is fucked, I don't know if he's gonna survive, if he dies, please don't leave his soul, soul behind. Oh, he's gonna kill him. Oh, he's looking at me. I think he understands what I'm saying. Holy shit. Prepare, pre prepare like you don't know. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'll, while this is going on, Doc, I'm going to do a Data 3 effect. Um, and basically try to work out who this guy actually is, who his connections are, um, who he's had dealings with, where he's from, that that type of um, information by by basically scanning all kind of security cameras, data, etc. on the web and make the connections. Oh, I thought I thought you were literally like downloading his mind. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm basically I'm, I'm cool. basically doing a a connections scan using correspondence. To figure out who is he connected to, what is he connected to, and and where has he been connected to, that kind of mm. thing. Okay. What's the difficulty on that going to be? Uh, that is going to be a common, not not vulgar. Okay, so we're looking at a six. Yes. Okay, down to five because I'm using my laptop, which is my focus, uh, and I am going to do it as a ritual. Uh, so I'll be here searching and scanning and that for a few rounds. Uh, so... Seven successes. Not my best good? work, but... Um, so... Immediately you find out that he's part of a PMC. He's part of a private military corporation. Um, called Blue Star. 
Blue Star has a number of government contracts, uh, namely in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, or at least they did before they were stopped and, you know, uh, executed. No, no, no. I mean, they, they he's were, alive they there. <laughs> that would be the twist, from, man, man. Uh, oh, sorry. I mean, we're still over in Afghanistan, right? Mm. I, I know that there yeah. are some soldiers there. There are yeah. definitely private military over there. Yes. PMCs Prim are all over the place over there. Primarily in training and, and uh, peacekeeping roles, yeah. Right. <laughs> That's what they call it. Uh, and basically he is a part of that. Uh, now they do do domestic. Uh, there's a word for it. Uh, Assassinations. They don't do them. No, they wouldn't. Kill they wouldn't squads. No. Death uh, squad. Domestic. Domestic. Terrorists. Contracts? Domestic contracts. No. There's a word Secure for it. They, they said it in the Punisher. God damn it. <laughs> what is the definition? The right. definition being that uh, security you, contracts, secure, yeah, basically like you security contracts private. on private soil in the U.S. Private defense networking, something like that. Well, either way, you get what I mean. Yes, they do that on private soil in the U.S. They're hired muscle. Other, yeah, they're a hired muscle. Um, he's a member of that. He was a part of the United States military as a Marine. Um, he was... Is his name Frank Castle? His name is not Frank Castle. Dude, we survived. His name is not Frank Castle. <laughs> yeah, no. He's, he's not Frank Castle. Is, is his name... so dead. Is his name Dank Massel? Dank what? Dank Massel. Okay, get, get to explanation. Or get to... <laughs> Uh, he is, uh, he has a family with two children and a beautiful wife. Uh, he lives in, uh, yeah, California, lived in California. Uh, he, well, he's not dead yet, but, you know. Well, not officially. Not officially. Uh, what else? Uh, he had contact with a number of different people. Just a lot of people. Uh, I mean, to the people he, he ordered breakfast from, to the people he... You know, you get all of that information, all the, all the things. People he said hello to on the street. Um, people he said uh, goodbye to. Uh, people he said. Um, you people know, who gave him the orders to come kill us? That was given, uh, yes, by Blue Star. Uh, he obviously never met the person who purchased the contract. So this was just an official contract taken out. It's not... This like... is not an official contract, no. Right. This is an unofficial contract by Blue Star. Correct. Okay. Uh, and that was his superior that basically gave him the orders, uh, told them that, you know, they, they were going to go in... Um, and they do have uh, bulletproof suits, not bulletproof, obviously, but bullet bullet resistant suits. Um, it wasn't car resistant. They were not car resistant at all. No. Um, Funny that. 
Yeah. D didn't think about Probably that. Probably why he's it? not bleeding <laughs> too much. Uh, he's only bleeding from banging his head against the fucking car. Because you were hitting the potholes. Mm -hmm. um, by accident? Of course. Not by accident, no. <laughs> Accidentally. Uh, <laughs> you find out that uh, he was supposed to be. He's not actually supposed to be in the mission. But that they added him like late, basically as backup. Okay. While uh, Seeger, what else do you want to know? Um, that I'm missing. No, I think that's that's pretty much covered it. Okay. Um, as as an intimidation technique, though, just to help uh, Leo out a little bit, I do start reading off as I get it information like his home address his wife's name his kids names where they go to school you know what they got on their last report cards uh, just so that he's well aware that we know everything about his family that he's not gonna see anymore yeah he, he his nostrils flare and he gives you the death stare yeah, I'm, I haven't even looked up from the computer to, to as I'm reading this I'm just you know what I mean yeah, like even though he's the badass military dude, Leo is currently the most scary person in the room. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, and I and I uh, yeah, the intimidation has the, done nothing to him. Yeah. Oh, but I'm I'm giving the intimidating guy the information about this guy's family. Yeah. <laughs> and I uh, can I finish? Uh, sorry, I uh, sorry, Sigi, I didn't mean to kind of disrupt your whole interrogation. I just wanted to have the setup done for when you kill him. I mean, if you kill him. I mean, if he accidentally dies. <laughs> Reasons. Reasons. <laughs> okay. Yes. C could I uh, set up, uh, finish the life trap? Like, three rolls? Doc? Say that again? Like I just want to, uh, I'm setting up the life trap so in case he dies. Right. Okay. So, so I'm I'm using prime and spirit. So this is vulgar. Uh, is it is? Yes, this is vulgar. Because you are trapping a soul. You're no. capturing someone's soul, dude. I, I I it's more like a cage. Like in case he that, dies, yes, he can't escape. That's, that's even worse. If Okay, uh, Madman, I'll, I'll throw you a bone here. If you're in the spirit world, like in the spirit dimension where yeah. they are, where souls normally reside, this would not be vulgar. I mean... But, but I you mean, would have to, as a spirit mage, sidestep into that plane. Yeah, but is it vulgar, though? Because it it's visually nothing there. No one sees, like, visually that there's a cage. That's why like it's a without witness. Okay. Yeah, it, it, is, it is breaking the rules of reality, okay. uh, but not in no. a way that's being seen. I will okay. remind you, normally souls, their locations like where they go is dictated by God or the one. So if you break hey, that hey, rule... Hey, I got the big dude on my side, so it's fine. Is he right? on your side, though? What well, does he say about that? <laughs> hang on, He's saying, on. this is wrong. <laughs> I'm right. I can't guys. imagine I'm God right. saying that. No, no. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, I'm totally in the right. No, and you not. are not. Yes, I love you too. Thank you. See? I do love, but you are wrong. <laughs> so uh, I got a one on the first one uh, with a difficulty seven, I, th I think. I put no, there. that was difficulty six. You gotta roll it again, man. Okay. It's Life a track. highest sphere then plus four. Are. So okay, uh, so okay, but I'm using my Bible, so it's uh, seven. Shit, right? What is your spirit? Uh, four. Okay, so it is seven, yes. 
and I'm using a quintessence. Okay, so then it's six. And you're not doing this as a ritual? Yes, I am. You are doing this? Okay, so just for the first one, it's six. Come on, madman. So and it's so it's better I'm, than before. You I'm won't. doing Thank you very much. I believe his. I believe how it works is his remaining quintessence when he dies goes into his spirit, and he can use that as if he were a ghost normally. Oh shit! Hang on. So if he doesn't have any quintessence, he won't be a very strong spirit. Sure. I'm just. I'm. I'm doing two rolls, right. and hopefully that will be enough. And the next one is a seven, right? Next one is seven. Yes. So a five. And hopefully that will be enough to contain him at least for a while. Okay, you don't know. If he dies, that I'm not saying will happen. It'll happen. And again, if nothing else, you have a circle and candles and some salt. It's moody. It's, <laughs> it's like, very atmospheric. Yeah, and basically it's like... If anything, hey, this is more calming than intimidating. No, no, it's like... I, I mean, no, it's like, can, it's like a ritual sacrifice. sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, like, right, exactly. Okay. Basically, it looks like we're going to sacrifice him, and you know what I'm doing, so you could say, like, this is for when you die, we can bring you back without you actually escaping to the afterlife, and that shit is scary, right? So, if nothing else, it's ammunition for you. Poor guy. He just took some assassination job, and this and this was his day. <laughs> well, he took an illegal government contract. What are you exactly. talking about? Exactly. Honest day work. That's what I'm saying. Like, I will remind <laughs> you that they're not supposed to operate on U.S. soil. No, they, they do have contracts on U.S. soil. If this non combat a, operations. This is, yeah, this is just a, a non approved. Combat operations are a big yeah. time no no. Yeah, and he, he just, like, grinding away on a stay time job, and this is how it ended up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A Sorry, I wanted. Job. I won't interrupt anymore. Go what ahead part of stay-at-home job? <laughs> no, honest job. Hey, honest, I will give you. Like I really felt the honesty if, in him trying to kill me. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. So what? What are you guys doing? He, um, like I said, does not seem intimidated. Yeah. He made his willpower roll. Okay. I... I left the syringe in, which would be incredibly... Like, held it in as I was talking, so I eventually pull it out and say, okay, we can do this the hard way. We've got all the information on you and your family. It's not exactly difficult to track them down, do the same thing. I'm walking over to the table, setting down the syringe and picking up a taser, like a stun gun taser and like electrifying it a few times. I walk back over slowly and say, like I said, funny thing about time, you forget how long you've been tortured for. But the pain, you don't forget that. And I'm keeping the taser held down like near his face and seeing his reaction. And if you he... You didn't hit him with the taser, correct? No, 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 not yet. He's just staring at you. And I say, or I click the taser off. I can do an incantation, rip open your mind, force you to give me all of your memories. I'm effectively becoming you. Funny thing about that, too. It takes experience away. It steals feelings. Love, hate. I'll end up loving your wife. Being in love with her. Harm actually you know, chuckles at that. <laughs> maybe she'll end up liking me. 
does she like older guys? And I say his name. I, for, I forget his name out of character. Say his name, because we have it. And I say, I think Bertram is a much better last name anyway than yours. Mrs. and Mr. Bertram. That'd be my third wife, you know. All of my wives end up keep dying. I don't know why. I keep outgrowing them. Just staring him dead in the eyes. This is Are so you going to outgrow your wife? It's just silence. You can make a smart move. Or you can make a dumb one. And I just place my hand on his head. And if... I'm kind of waiting for the sodium to kick in at this point, the drug, because it does actually take a couple of minutes. And I say, your wife will go through the same thing. Except maybe I won't rip open her memories like I will you. I won't steal them. I'll alter them. Oh yeah, she'll end up loving me. Because she'll think I'm you. Is that what you want? You want me laying down next to your wife every morning, every night? And I'm right next to his ear right now. Or you can make a smart move and walk out of here right now. She just looks at you and goes, Gonna be a fucking man now? You gonna torture me or what? Is that what you think the worst is? Torture? Oh, you're about to be in for a fucking world of hurt. I place my other hand on his head and I start delving into his mind. And I'm using mind and time. And I'm going to take away his perception of time. So time isn't stopping, just his perception of it is. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to dig a thumb into his eye and rip out his eye with my thumb. Whilst his perception of time is skewed, so he won't ex he won't perceive it, but he is still feeling, and he will feel it after. He okay. will just not perceive the moment passing. So, in an instant for him, it just looks like you know, I'm having my hand on his head, and then suddenly uh, an eye is missing, and he's in horrible fucking pain. Ideally. Okay, roll me Arte. Alrighty. And can I do this as a ritual? Maybe not as a ritual, it's probably no. not as a... Yeah. <laughs> like, that depends on how slowly you do the eye thing. Yeah, I know, maybe not as a ritual. <laughs> uh, I'm... Can I use... Can I have my watch in my hand, like, clicking next to his ear as the focus? Like, just the constant clicking of the watch be, like, a hypnotic thing to him? Sure. Alrighty. <laughs> like, just have it, like, cupped in my hand. You want to use it as a focus? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. And what's the difficulty? Uh, difficulty is... Uh, plus five... Highest sphere. What is your highest sphere? Uh, my Time. highest sphere is three. Time. Three? So eight. Uh, yeah. Okay. Plus eight. one, um, uh, because you get a focus. Mm -hmm. Plus one die, right? Right, Casey? Is, is, is no, your focus die? reduces the uh, difficulty by one. Okay. I still there get a plus one. So I'm, I'm using a quintessence anyway. Okay, so seven. So six. Okay, and I'm also using willpower for success. Okay. You. So, so four. four. So yeah, I just stop his perception of time. And so everybody sees he is frozen as Leo. Doc. Dog? It kind of sound there at the end of him speaking that, like, is, his audio did your was... your internet go? Or... Because the call is kind of reduced in quality. 
That's just because you were in it. Mm. Hey. Yeah. I'm gonna take a drink for that one. <laughs> Mic <Mike> drop. <laughs> I I don't know why my fucking headset just went muted. Uh, did you hear what I said? No. Nah. Okay. So, okay. So, everybody sees as Leo uh, does this. He is frozen entirely. And Leo just puts his thumb in the eye socket, rips out his eye, and what do you do with the eye? I just toss it aside, wipe he the just, blood off. He just tosses the side. He's uh, frozen for a fair eye. few. He's frozen for a fair few amount of minutes, right? Like, how long is he frozen for? Can I can I know that? You're frozen or... for. He's frozen for around so six six seconds, making him what? Uh, that's mean? more than enough time to rip rip out someone's eye. So. What does it mean to have someone not register the time thing that you're doing? They're, because they're, they're frozen, as in their mind isn't registering what's going on at all. Ah, okay. Effectively, what happens in my perception of it anyway, I may be completely wrong, so don't correct me if I am. In my perception, if I were, if my just my perception of time were frozen, yet I were still being tortured and in pain. I would feel that after. That would be an after effect, definitely. Well, once, once you, you would feel it because you, yeah. yeah, yeah. Once you perceive it again, you would feel you're it not, because your fucking eye is gone. Yeah. The, what effectively I'm meaning is your brain in, uh, expects pain. So when when you see something coming, your brain goes, "Oh my god, I'm going to be in pain." So this means just like full on pain, no no chance to anticipate it or expect it at all. So suddenly he's blinded in one eye. Obviously he screams because he's in pain. And now I reverse pain. the damage. Uh okay, roll our tank. Shit, I should back away from this considering how much paradox I have. Well yeah, how much paradox I have as well. That's why I'm spending another willpower. Oh yeah, you gain. Um, oh sorry, shit. You, f I forgot again today to do that. Thank you for reminding me. One, <sighs> one XP. <laughs> you, you get, and then you, you get implode. one XP, Madman. And then you implode. And now it's Madman, you fucking traitor! Worse. You traitorous pig! For for the record, well, my spell monster. was coincidental, so no paradox there. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, plus one. Uh, hang on, I gotta write this down. Plus one XP for backstabbing friends. All right. Piece of shit. Friends in real life. Cool. There we go. Great. Now I know it's re uh, rewarded behavior, and now I know to expect a gold star. I'll always do it. <laughs> always. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, I will do that. Gain, uh, uh three Paradox. Alrighty. And, uh, you gained two from the, uh, the vulgar one before. Okay. Um, Shit. Me? No, yeah, yeah, you. Okay. Not, Fuck. not, not Seeger. Okay, good. Okay, I'm up at 11. You don't want to know what I'm at. <laughs> um. I okay, have to say, up. guys, I'm... I'm almost getting to the point that you actually need to start hoping for a backlash. Why? So we don't. <laughs> so we botch the roll and don't die. Well, you're you're getting into the levels where if you if you get much higher without backlashing, then the results are going to be nothing short of fatal. You might still survive a backlash right now. You get much more, and there's no way you're going to survive. <laughs> Look, there's only one way it can end, okay? In a glorious explosion. Um, okay, using my, my focus, uh, spending willpower for, for success. 
And what's the difficulty? Uh, difficulty would be... Uh, plus five, correct? Eight. And that would be with or without focus? That's without. So seven. Okay. Alrighty. Two. <laughs> Two. Fine, man. Yeah, his eye... Right and back he into feels it. that as well. Yep. And he and screams say, and, and tries to hold his eye, but he can't because he's strapped down. Uh, yeah, he and I... He shuts it and he's I, screaming. I, uh, I wait for a good couple of seconds and I say, Now then, like I said, a single moment in time over and over and over again while I lay down next to your wife and take your position in society. Do you want that? He, he just yells, You're a fucking monster! I uh, shove my hand into his throat and say, Not any worse than the ones your friend has been created. Now tell me what I want to know. And this'll all end. Hell, I'll even wipe your memory and you'll go home. He just goes, I don't know shit. I let him go and say, yeah, you do. Your friend. And I, uh, don't you have a picture? Uh, uh Harm? Huh? Do you have a picture of the robed man at all? Or wh who was it? No. It was, uh, t somewhat t Thomas Redfield? Redfield. That doesn't sound right. Thomas Redfield is the guy that owned the, um, the warehouse. Okay, so that wasn't him that I'm thinking. Wh who is the red suit guy? The, the Delvet guy. Yeah. Did we get a name on him? No. No, we didn't. Do we have a picture on him? No, you just know what he looks like because you saw him through time. Yeah. Can, can you somehow, uh, you and Harm, like, can uh, digitalize your memory of what he looked like so we can run uh, image recognition on that? Um, I, I describe him sharp face, cat suit, or, you know, cat like face, slick black, black hair, red suit. You really can't miss him. Well, okay. Yeah, he just, he, he looks confused. And he says, I don't know that guy. Who put out the contract on us? I don't know. Is he? Is there a way we could tell he's lying, or he's probably not lying? But uh, is there a way to find out if he's lying? Is that what you Wait, what? Like an insight check? Yeah. Um. Uh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Secret. Expression. <laughs> Check uh, your manipulation shack. expression. Oh no, I'm sorry. Manipulation empathy. Oh. Manipulation or perception? Perception empathy. You're right. Cool. What? Madman? Check your chat. Where are the you other check chat? your yeah. chat. No. What about the other Skype chat? chat. You oh, Skype um. chat. Yeah, you shy, shy, I can't speak. <laughs> you shy, 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 oh. shy, shy. I, I didn't realize he had a child. Um, I started listing the re report cards and schools and yeah. names. And... Oh, I, I didn't. Sorry. Um, I'll just stare, look at him deep in the eyes and say, have you ever heard of squids? 
<laughs> Obviously, <laughs> you've heard <laughs> of the creature. He looks I, like I mean, you're fucking retarded. I mean, some strange occurrences of squids going on. Are some of your guys getting a bit stronger, a bit smarter, a bit faster? What guy? <laughs> he says steroids come with a job. Yeah, but I need. I mean, a recent one. There's plenty of people who are doing steroids. Salty starfish, ring a bell. Let me the fuck go. I don't. I don't know anything. I'm just a hired muscle. Uh, can I see... I'll just go ahead and dig into his mind and see who he got the job from. Okay. This uh, class pro chance on it. Yep. It was an order issued from, from uh, his company. Well, yeah, but who? Someone had to have done it, I mean. His boss was who he got it from. Well, who's his boss? That's my point, like... If you know that info, then I don't need to do this. Yeah, that was part of what I was... Whenever I was rattling off all the details earlier. Okay, so if we have his boss, then we can just go to him. This guy's useless. At least unless someone else has any other... Well, no, I, I, I gave you that info before you ripped his eye out. <laughs> oh, well. Uh. Somewhere yeah, along the line, there's been a bit of an alignment I'm change just... somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Got what I needed. Did you? Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm cool. It's... I wash my hands with this. See, that's yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> like, I I'm gonna go wait in the car. How about that? <laughs> well, you we need to decide if we're gonna... I think Killing I'm gonna. I not. think I'm gonna join you in the car. Yep. Hey. Okay. Uh, I just pull out my gun and shoot him in the head. Execute him. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh as, my God. as you're taking out your gun, he goes, "No, no, no!" And then, boom! If you you fire. We we, we hear the, my we hear the gunshot outside, and I just start the car and drive away. <laughs> like, no, no, we gotta wait. Oh, no, this is as you guys are <laughs> yeah. walking out. That's yeah. what I mean. I hear the gunshot. I jump in. The, I, I, I get in the car. I just start it up and drive away. Well, as you guys start, it was like twenty feet ahead. Like you walk twenty feet away, and suddenly 